In today's video, I will be showing you how to season your cast iron Dutch oven. Okay, so the first thing I've done is place foil on the bottom rack in my oven. That's to help prevent the smoking in case some of the oil happens to drip towards the bottom of the oven. Okay, so after lining the bottom rack, I can now preheat my oven. You want to preheat it to 425. Okay, and as my oven preheats to its proper temperature, what I'm doing today is I am seasoning my cast iron Dutch oven. I'm going to be seasoning both the pot and the lid. Okay, so I recently made jambalaya in this pot, and I noticed that the bottom layer of rice was sticking to it. That's when I realized that I needed to season it. So as you can see, I've just washed it. It's wet, and we're going to just take care of it from now. Just to give you a little information, when you're dealing with cast iron utensils or cast iron pots and pans, you do not want your water, any water sitting inside of them over a long period of time, and you don't want them to sit in water for a long period of time, especially if they're not seasoned. What water does is allows the cast iron to become rusted, as you can see here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the water. Okay, so I turn on the burner and I allow the water to actually uh, evaporate. I want this completely dry. If you take a look, you'll be able to see the water actually evaporating before your eyes. Okay, after seeing the condition of this Dutch oven after it's completely dried, you can see why it needs to be taken care of. Okay, so I have a clean napkin here. I have some olive oil here. And I am going to actually use this in order to season this Dutch oven. You don't want too much. Do is a couple dabs on there and I'm just gonna coat this bottom okay although I'm using olive oil a lot of people use Crisco and lard and vegetable oil those things are fine as well but I just want you to know that through a, over time certain oils will allow your pan to become sticky some oils over time can make your food taste ratchet so do your research grab my top here I'm gonna put a little oil Do the outside of the lid as well. So, yes, you do the outside of the Dutch oven as well. In this step, I'm going to take a new napkin, clean, with no oils, 
and we're going to remove the excess oils. We want this to be a non-stick surface. You want to put something between the cast iron metal and your food. And that's what this process does. Okay. As you can see, I placed the Dutch oven upside down. What I'm going to do is leave these two items in this oven for one hour. And then we'll come back. Okay, so I'll allow these items to cool down and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and it has cooled down enough for me to handle. So as you can see, if you take a close look, it looks fantastic. So that's the lid. See the other side of the lid. Let me show you that. Um, even though it looks like it may have oil on it, it doesn't. It cooked in, as you can see here. As I wipe the surface, there's nothing there. And as you can see, there's nothing coming off. No oil, anything. Okay, so if you have any cast iron skillets that you think are no longer any good i welcome the challenge give me an opportunity to show you how to restore your cast iron um, skillets pans and dutch ovens do not throw them away just put a comment in the comment area below hit me up and say hey mom i have a challenge for you and i promise you i can help you restore your cast iron